Now, still on politics, Southwestern Catherine Member of Parliament, Everald Warmington, is in the line of fire this evening for comments he made about withholding government funds from a PNP councillor elect in his constituency. Now, the opposition People's National Party is calling for Mr. Warmington to be ousted from the cabinet. Kelisha Williams has our report. A cell phone video seemingly captured in St. Catherine after the PNP's candidate, Dr. Kurt Wall, defeated the incumbent, the JLP's Lloyd Grant, in the Old Harbor South Division. This was Southwestern St. Catherine Member of Parliament, Everald Warmington, also speaking in his capacity as Minister with Responsibility for Works. But me in charge, yes, I'm a minister of work. I'm a member of parliament. No PMP calls the rest of my money. And he went further, this time scolding Mr. Grant for not heeding his warnings. They are so close to you. They are so close to you. Mr. Warmington's comments have since left many Jamaicans stunned, except Dr. Wall, the man who actually won the election after Monday's preliminary count. These utterances by Mr. Warmington is not anything new to me. I've always heard him say it before, but it's the first time we have captured it on tape, right? So the entire Jamaica can hear and see the type of person that he is in terms of the the victimization he uses in his political operations. Dr. Wall indicated that the people of Old Harbor South elected him as their local government representative, and Mr. Warmington's utterances are a slap in the face of the electors. It must be noted that of the four divisions in southwestern St. Catherine, Old Harbor South is the only one controlled by the PNP as of Monday's preliminary count. The JLP won the other three divisions. And Old Harbor South is not a safe seat for either party. In 2012, the PNP won the division. In 2016, the JLP was victorious. And now it's back to the PNP. I shouldn't be beholding to a gentleman who is obviously unhinged and who wants to do things he wants to do it the way he wants to do it rather than following the constitution and discussing the funds, the purse of the government, which, which is the taxpayers' money. Talking about it as, it, as if, you know, these taxpayers' monies are his personal monies. Which is why Dr. Wall is supporting the PNP's call for Mr. Warmington to be removed from the cabinet. His position as Minister of Works is untenable, and they should put someone in the job who is willing to carry out their job in an equitable fashion. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.